Hey folks, Troy Tolman here. Welcome to Weekly Guitar Class. I have realized through all the years that I've been teaching, there are three aspects to playing guitar. The first aspect is learning your chords. The second aspect is having your chord changes smooth and confident without any struggle. And the third aspect is learning your strumming patterns. So the song that we're going to go through today, Time of Your Life by the band Green Day, is one of the first songs that I always show to people for three main reasons. The first reason is the four chords that are in this song are some of the most common chords used in music. The second reason is going from the G to the C add 9 as a relatively simple change and it can build some confidence quickly. And the third reason, the strumming pattern in this song is one of the five most common strumming patterns you will ever come across. So let's get into the chords. So the four chords that you're going to use in this song is G, C add 9, D, and E minor. So to form the G, what you want to do is put your first finger on the fifth string, second fret. Then you want to put your second finger on the sixth string, third fret. Then your third finger goes to the second string, third fret. And then your pinky goes to the first string, third fret. And there's your G chord. And to the C at 9, again, it's a pretty relatively simple change. All you want to do is just drop your top two fingers down one string. So you keep your pinky and your third finger where they were for the G chord. So now the first finger will be on the fourth string, second fret. Second finger will be on the fifth string, third fret. So there's your C add nine. And then the D chord, what you want to do is put your first finger on the third string, second fret. Put your second finger on the first string, second fret. And then your third finger goes to the second string, third fret. It sort of crosses in the middle of them. And there's your D chord. And then the only other chord in the song is the E minor. So what you want to do is put your second finger on the fifth string, second fret, then put your third finger on the fourth string, second fret. And it's just the two fingers. And there's your E minor. So now the pattern of the song goes, the G goes two times in the first line of this song. So what I always suggest to people is just give each chord four slow strums when you're starting out with these chords and getting used to them. So you just get your fingers used to being on the strings and getting used to some of these chord changes. So again, the G goes twice in the first line, then the C add 9 goes once, and then the D goes once. So again, just four slow strums on each chord, but we're actually going to give the G chord eight strums because it goes twice. So eight strums on the G. down one, one, two, three, four, and then to your D chord, four slow strums, one, two, three, four, and then you want to repeat that line, so back to the G, eight strums, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, C at nine, song, the E minor starts with, and then you go to the D, C add 9, and then G. So E minor, four strums, one, two, three, four, then your D, one, two, three, four, C add 9, one, two, three, four, and then your G, one, two, three, four, and that line repeats as well. So E minor again, four strums, one, two, three, four, your D, one, two, three, four, C at nine, one, two, three, four, and then your G, one, two, three, four, and then the last line, you go E minor to G, E minor to G, and then E minor to D. So E minor, four slow strums, one, two, So the reason why 
I just give four strums each chord? Because again, you just want to get used to the chord changes, getting used to the shapes and switching these chords. And this is a formula for learning guitar, and it has worked for hundreds of students of mine. So now you want to take the approach like the right hand has a mind of its own. And it's like a machine, and it just wants to keep going. Two, three, four. Non stop. And it's the left hand that has to keep up to it. And don't worry if your chords aren't sounding smooth, you know, and clear as you might want them to be. But just play through it, and they will smooth themselves out eventually. So again, this is the approach that you want to take. You want to just give that consistent four slow strums each chord and make that change happen without any hesitation. So again, the G will go twice on the top line. So we got eight strums on the G. One, two, three, four. One, two, see at nine. changes you just want to go for it without you know any pause because that's the one thing that I find with people is that there's a lot of hesitation there and there it seems to be afraid that the the chord might not come out clear or something like that but again you just want to go through it you know sometimes the chords might not come out clear but just go for it and eventually again they will smooth themselves out so now the second line going through that E minor D, C at 9, G. Okay, so four slow strums. One, two, three, four, D. Two, three, four, C at 9. simple change so that can build some confidence quickly in your chord changes you know so now that you've gotten the four slow strums down and you're comfortable with the shapes of the chords and you're getting everything smooth that way then the next step is inserting the strumming pattern so the strumming pattern for the right hand is going to be down down up up down up and that lasts throughout the whole song so down So you're going to do that pattern twice on the first line, C at 9, and then D. So let's try that. So G twice, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. E minor, down, up, up, 
minor G, E minor D. So down, down, up, up, down, and G. like when you got it comfortable and confident. Just send me a quick message and I will send you the tabs. There you go folks, have fun with it and remember repetition is the key.